1975, the television landscape welcomed an iconic character into its midst, Wonder Woman. A cultural phenomenon, this series left an indelible mark on audiences worldwide. Whether it was the first time you tuned in for an episode or a more recent encounter, the impact of Wonder Woman has transcended generations, making it a timeless classic. As we delve into the depths of this beloved series, one can't help but wonder about the personal connections forged with Wonder Woman. What's your earliest recollection of watching this TV show, and how did it shape your entertainment experience? Before we journey into your cherished memories, let's set the stage with some intriguing facts about the show. Wonder Woman, portrayed by Linda Carter, not only captivated audiences with her superhuman abilities, but also served as a symbol of strength and empowerment during a pivotal era. Now, we're curious what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Wonder Woman. Whether it's a moment of inspiration, a shared viewing experience, or a favorite episode, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, grab your lasso of truth and share your Wonder Woman tales with us. How did this series leave an indelible mark on your life? Your stories are the threads that weave the rich tapestry of Wonder Woman's enduring legacy. In the 1975 TV series Wonder Woman, the character Wonder Girl, portrayed by Deborah Winger in the first season, had her roots in comic books dating back to 1965. However, the TV adaptation took liberties with the character's nature, eventually leading to her being known as Troya today. A distinct change in Diana's costume is notable between the first and second seasons. The initial eagle bra emblem transformed into a series of interlocking stripes, marking an overall shift in costume design. The eagle breastplate evolved into a pair of WS on her chest, resembling an eagle influencing the character's costume design to this day. The series itself underwent a significant transformation when it moved from ABC to CBS after the first season. Initially set during World War II, the show shifted gears, bringing the immortal Wonder Woman to civilization in the late 1970s. The revamped format saw her teaming up with the son of Steve Trevor from the first season. Alongside this shift, Linda Carter's iconic costume underwent minor modifications. These changes reflected the dynamic evolution of the character and the show's adaptability over time. In essence, the 1975 Wonder Woman TV series stands as a testament to the malleability of superhero narratives, blending comic book origins with creative adaptations that keep the character fresh and relevant. The alterations in costume design and storyline shifts contributed to the show's enduring appeal, making it a landmark in the realm of superhero television. Deborah Winger, initially cast as Wonder Girl in the 1975 TV series Wonder Woman, faced unexpected dilemmas. Doubts about her role led her to buy out of her contract, a decision costing most of her salary. Such behind-the-scenes challenges, however, were not exclusive to Winger. In one daring stunt during the episode Anschluss 77, lead actress Linda Carter took matters into her own hands. Unbeknownst to the producers, she opted to perform a helicopter lift stunt herself, bypassing her stunt double. This move, though successful, stirred controversy, as Carter didn't inform anyone and neglected protective gear. The series wasn't just marked by off-screen controversies. Wonder Woman's iconic spin transformation, a trademark move in the show, almost took a different form. Originally designed for an electronic platform, it became a personal touch from Linda Carter. Utilizing her ballet training, she opted to execute a pirouette instead, adding a unique physicality to the character's transformation. These backstage incidents reveal the challenges and spontaneity that shaped the 1975 Wonder Woman series. From contractual disputes to impromptu stunts, the show's production mirrored the dynamic nature of its superhero narrative. The controversies and creative decisions behind the scenes further enriched the legacy of this iconic TV series. The evolution of Wonder Woman in the TV series Wonder Woman's journey on the small screen underwent significant transformations that influenced its fate. The show's initial success on ABC faced uncertainty due to the network's reluctance to renew it for a second season. The decision to set the series in the 1940s added to its production costs, making it a less appealing option for renewal. However, CBS stepped in, reshaping the narrative by shifting the setting to the present day. 
This strategic move allowed the show to continue for two additional seasons, but eventually, CBS pulled the plug in 1979, citing low ratings and a lack of new cast members. The alteration in time periods, a pivotal decision made by the producers, didn't sit well with key figures like Linda Carter. She, along with Lyle Wagoner, expressed the belief that keeping the series rooted in the 1940s would have prevented its permanent cancellation. Carter's iconic portrayal of Wonder Woman remains deeply associated with the character's 1940s archive, reflecting the impact of this significant shift in setting. Beyond the temporal changes, the TV adaptation also diverged from the comic book source material. Unlike the comics where Wonder Woman's powers had various origins, the TV version attributed her abilities to a magic belt, deviating from the established Amazonian training or divine gifts. The show further departed from comic canon by allowing Wonder Woman to remove her bracelets without consequences, a departure from the comics where such an act would lead to a loss of control. These alterations in setting and character portrayal offer a glimpse into the challenges faced by the 1975 Wonder Woman series. The decisions made behind the scenes, be it network changes or creative liberties, played a pivotal role in shaping the show's trajectory. A legacy of Wonder Woman on TV, marked by these strategic choices, underscores the complex interplay between creative vision and commercial considerations. Linda Carter's connection to Wonder Woman reached beyond the screen. In an intriguing twist, she formed a close bond with the family of William Moulton Marston, the creator of Wonder Woman. This personal connection added a unique layer to her portrayal of the iconic character. Moreover, behind the scenes, the 1975 TV series Wonder Woman marked a significant milestone. It was the first adaptation of a DC Comics character produced by Warner Brothers, aligning with the fact that the two companies had come under the same ownership a few years before. This collaboration set the stage for the future intersection of DC Comics and Warner Brothers in the realm of superhero adaptations. Notably, the show borrowed sound effects from Star Trek, incorporating them into various electronic and computer sounds. This subtle nod to another iconic series added an interesting dimension to the auditory experience of Wonder Woman. These lesser-known facts provide a fresh perspective on the 1975 Wonder Woman series, showcasing the personal connections of its lead actress and the collaborative efforts between Warner Brothers and DC Comics. It's a testament to the intricate web of relationships and influences that contributed to the show's place in television history. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of Wonder Woman, let the lasso of nostalgia draw you closer to your own odyssey with this iconic series. Reflect on the moments that lassoed your heart and the indomitable spirit of Diana Prince that echoed in the chambers of your own journey. Whether it's the shimmering bracelets deflecting adversity or the golden truth-telling tiara, Wonder Woman's legacy is woven into the fabric of our memories. As the invisible jet of time carries us away, share your treasured moments, the instances where you felt the Amazonian strength coursing through your veins or the resonating call of suffering Sappho. That etched itself into your lexicon. Invite the communal embrace of reminiscence. Let the threads of your experience weave into the tapestry of Wonder Woman fandom. In this shared space of reflection, where the echoes of Linda Carter's iconic twirl and Gal Gadot's empowering grace linger, discover the common threads that bind us all as admirers of this emblematic series. Your narrative is a vital strand in the grand narrative of Wonder Woman, for it is through our collective memories that her legacy endures. Thank you for embarking on this journey down memory lane, for allowing the golden lasso of Wonder Woman to intertwine with the fibers of your personal narrative. Your stories, your reflections, they are the enduring magic that keeps the spirit of Wonder Woman alive in the hearts of many. Embrace the power of your memories, for they are the true artifacts of wonder. Until we meet again in the realms of nostalgia, thank you for sharing this odyssey with us. Stay wonderful, stay connected.